Sometimes it helps if you read the instructions. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I appreciate you guys tuning in. So uh, what have I been up to? A lot actually, but most of it's not uh, not anything that I filmed or, or will put on YouTube until a little bit later. Let's just say that I'm trying to start up a little side hustle business. I don't know what you call it, but I don't really want to say too much just yet. But I got to do something here to fund some projects and uh, maybe it'll turn into something big. I don't know. But uh, more on that later, I hope. So this week, I did a couple of things. Number one is I finally got to Frankie's door panel. I finally remade that panel. Um, I don't know if you recall, but this thing was so warped. I, I mean, it stuck out down there in that corner. It probably stuck out two, three inches right there. I did not record any of it. I've already made a video for that side. I will put a link up above. We replaced this here. Also, so anyway, yeah, if you are interested in that video, I made it my own self, that whole panel down below because I don't like the original design. All right, let's get into today's video. So my friend gave me an ignition module tester. It's supposed to uh, basically test any ignition module there is. It's, I'll, you'll see it. I have a box full of distributors that you will see. I have three spare TFI modules. We're going to test all three of them and see if they're any good. And that's basically the video showing you this tool. First, I hook it up wrong though. I, I made a little boo-boo. No harm, no foul though. I didn't ruin anything. So anyway. We now join our regularly scheduled program already in progress. All right. So here's the kit right here. This is an old school Equus 3015, but out here it's an Innova. Same part number though. This is our diagram for these. It looks like we need two LEDs to flash for these to be deemed a good module. I got it hooked up to power. This is a little 12 volt supply I've used for a while to test car stereos and stuff. So I've got it hooked up right there. And uh, yeah, this does turn on. I did check that. Now we just got to hook up these to the appropriate things there. All right, so we're aiming at this this way here. Okay, B is brown. Capital B is brown. Little B is blue. Black is the arrow. Maybe you should check green and gray. Okay. Okay, no. All right, keep going then. We'll start by doing these wires. This little harness is made by Dorman, and I will put a link to it in the description in case you need a new one. Nothing on that one. Big B is brown. And we'll just bring that down to cover that up. Next, well, we got two reds in a row. Okay, another red. Next up here. Little B is blue. This is filler here. And this last one is white. I wonder if that's white or gray. Got all that hammered out. This here goes to nothing, so let's let that. Uh, I'm gonna have to cap that off with just so we don't hit it on something. 
I'm just going to cover this up so it doesn't get hit on something. I don't know if it'll hurt anything or not, but uh, we'll just get that covered up. And then right here, green right there. You're a big, big dummy there. I'm not kidding you. You're a big dummy. And this black goes here. Those two out of the way, or those three actually. All right, so test F is the one we did. It looks like we should get two LEDs on when we turn this on. Two LEDs flashing to be a good module. I have one flashing. All right, this one's bad. Hello, Mr. George. How much you pay for the, for the new guy? 20 bucks? No, too much money. It's no good. I'm gonna run out back. I think I've got a couple more modules out back in my distributor box. And uh, we'll check those too. A few inches later. All got a couple modules here, including one of the old school Motorcraft ones. This here, I believe it's actually a 351 distributor. I could be wrong. Oh, easy way to tell is this shaft. Yeah, it is. 351 has a bigger shaft on it. All right. Took me about a half an hour to find this stupid thing. This is a Ford ignition module tool. I used to keep this in the glove box on the 89, but uh, apparently at some point I put it in my toolbox. So let me just pull this off of here. Slap right onto this one. So green here. You are so stupid. Am I? Idiot! <laughs> Black here. Okay. That's all hooked up now. Let's see what we get with this one. Okay, am I doing this right? This test requires two LEDs to be flashing to be a good module. Okay, we'll check this third one. I'm actually pretty sure this one is a brand new one that's just been beating around in the box here. Of course it's not. Green. I get the same results on all of them. There's no way all three of these are bad. Ha! Huh. Okay. Well, little G is gray. be damned so maybe these are all good what's uh <laughs> that one's gray right there and then black okay now let's see if these are good yes both are flashing sometimes it helps if you read the instructions all right this is the module i've had sitting over here for a while it is good perfect all right Two for two. Let's go with this motor craft here and see. Yes, sir. All right, all three of those are good. I'm happy about that. All right, so why did I do this? Because I'm gonna be making some kits to put in these cars to have in case I get on the side of the road and need something. This tool right here is really necessary.
Dude, I've been looking at the room. I've been talking to the other side of the camera. <laughs> Boy, that was funny. All right, so there it is. And as you can tell, all three modules are good. If there is one thing that I would suggest that you have in your Fox body all the time, it's a spare TFI module. That is the number one thing that is going to go bad on you if you're out in the middle of nowhere. And so I suggest keeping one of these around as well as uh, some thermal paste. And you might want to try to locate one of these. I've seen them on Amazon. I'll put a link below to the ones on Amazon. I've had this probably since like 96 or 7. I am going to be ordering another one to uh, keep in Frankie. Since I've got two Fox bodies, I probably ought to have one in each. I'd like to uh, give a shout out and a thank you to Sleazy's Garage. Sleazy, thank you for buying me a drink through Ko-Fi. So if you're interested in buying a guy a Dr. Pepper, there's a link down below. That's my, my beverage of choice. But thank you very much, Sleazy. I appreciate it very much. And also thank you. He sent me a steering wheel as well. And thanks again, Sleazy. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful week. Sorry for the late video today. I spent my entire day yesterday in Salt Lake and didn't get to editing.